Hi everybody and welcome to Spangly Nails YouTube. My name is Nicole and the chances are you are here because you just watched my swatch and review video of the Is Beauty of London Blooming Beautiful collection. If you didn't see that I will pop a link to it up in the top right hand corner or I will leave a link in the description box. Anyway at the end I mentioned these four nail art that I created using the collection and if you want to see how I created them then just stay tuned. So the first design is going to be featuring Lily Romance which is the pink flamingo and I'm starting off with a white base and I've just sponged on a sheer layer of forget me not. I'm going to ignore that wee hair because it's getting covered up anyway. I'm going to start off by using the brush and making a small circle going off the bottom right hand corner and then from the, the bottom left hand corner I'm going to make the neck of the flamingo and joining that on up to the head. If you think of it kind of like a number two, you're creating just a really exaggerated number two with a really big head part. I'm using my dotting tool to fill that in because it covers more area than my wee small brush and then I just go back in with my wee small brush to like outline the edges. Same as the beak here, again fill in more area with your dotting tool and then refine the edges with the brush. I'm adding in the eye socket here and refining the beak with black polish I'm adding a wee eye for good measure and then I'm going to use one of the new Is Beauty of London's from the Festival Fever collection called Main Stage which is this gorgeous hot pink to make some detailing on the flamingo Add a wee bit of a shadow for good measure, finish off with a fast drying top coat and that is design number one featuring Lily Romance. The next design features Forget Me Not and this is my favourite from the collection and I followed a wee tutorial from YouTube, I'll pop the link down below. I've started off with the same kind of base, white and sponged Forget Me Not On. I'm using a small paintbrush and main stage again, which is the pink from the Festival Fever collection. And I'm going happy go lucky on my stripes here at the side. I've incorporated Forget Me Not and Lily Romance and going back in my main stage and I'm just making bursts from coming out from the left hand side of my nail and then I'm making large C shapes with black polish. These don't need to be perfect. And just for a wee something something, I'm adding wee dots of main stage again. And just to give this design a wee bit of something extra, I've added a wee stud and I'm just using top coat to adhere that to the nail. And I'm finishing off with a layer of fast drying top coat. This design has got to be the easiest out of the four because even if you make a mistake you can still clean it up or make it kid on it was part of the design in the first place. The third design is featuring the mint green called Wild Sage and I might have lied, this one might be the easiest. I've started off with two layers of Wild Sage and I'm adding a layer of fast drying top coat. I'm waiting 10-15 to 15 minutes for that to be fully dry and I'm adding a nail vinyl that I got from Twinkle Tea to the right hand third of my nail. And then using Lily Romance I'm going to fill in the larger left hand third of the nail. I'm getting in all the wee nooks and crannies and whilst that's still wet I'm removing that vinyl and cleaning up any mess. I'm adding another vinyl at the right hand side. I mean you can go ahead and add top coat and add another vinyl but I'm just going to freehand this here because I was obviously feeling confident when I filmed this video but if you feel that you need to, you would add another layer of top coat over the pink and then you could add two vinyls, one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. Anyway, I'm just cleaning up any mess. I'm adding three dots and using my small nail art brush, I'm bringing that dot out to a point. It's just like adding a wee triangle. Do that with all three. I'm not going to bore you and show all three right enough, but do that with all three and add a layer of fast drying top coat. You need to remove the vinyls when the polish is still wet to make sure you get that crisp line. Otherwise, it'll be all you don't even no, you don't even want to know what it'll be like. <laughs> anyway, that's the third design. 
The fourth and final design features Wisteria Lane, which is the purple polish from the collection. I've started off with a layer of off-white polish and using my large dotting tool I'm making four or five dots towards the sides of my nail. I'm going to do one at the top, one at the side and then one at the bottom. And these are going to be the petals for our flowers. This design was inspired by Life is Better Polished on Instagram and I'll leave a link to her channel down below. I'm using my brush to clean up any mess that I've made round the sides, but it's pointless because I make more mess in a minute, so you're probably better just making all your mess and cleaning it up in one go at the end rather than cleaning as you go. It's personal preference really. Anyway, I'm using a dark purple which is Glastonbury from the Festival Fever collection and I'm outlining those shapes to give them a wee bit more dimension. It's just a case of putting large C shapes eh, and hoping for the best really. Going back in with Wild Sage, I am making small petal shapes in the white spaces near the flowers to act as petals and going back in with a darker green polish to outline those as well. And again, I'm going back to clean up any more mess that I've made. So I, I mean, you probably, probably could have done that all in a one and I don't really know why I did it twice. Bit of a waste of time, really. Anyway, add a layer of fast drying top coat and that is the fourth and final design. So go ahead and let me know down below in the comments which one was your favourite. As I mentioned in the last video, the links to Is Beauty of London's website will be in the description box below and remember if you sign up to their newsletter you will get 10% off your first order. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and I will see you guys all next time whenever that may be. Bye!